Wednesday. Today is a great day because today is launch day. We have just launched our D Plus Gossamer Lash. They are amazing. I am wearing them over here on my right eye. They are so, so good. I have them in all the lengths, 10 through 18. We're gonna apply today onto this eye. We're gonna talk all things D Plus. If you guys did not know, every Wednesday we either have a launch or a drop. So like Wednesday is like our Friday. It is the day of the week we all look forward to today. We have launched our Drama Plus, our D Plus Gossamers. You can shop them right down here by clicking. It's gonna bring you right to their uh, website page. You're gonna check them out. So they are, what they are, it's our Drama Lash, but better. Because it is a plus, which means the spine of this lash is so, 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 so thin. It is like as thin as a piece of tape. For that reason, it just grips right onto the natural lash, which means it's gonna give you longer wear. So you're gonna wear them with the Ds, with the drama lashes. If you guys know me, you know I love the drama, but I would wear them for like three or four days and I'd have to do some touching up or like I'd get some lifting. I wore these last week for almost a full week. I didn't have to do a single touch up. Because that spine is so thin, it is long lasting and it's less work. So we say it is the longer lasting D with less work, okay? So we're gonna apply together. If you guys are here, click here and shop the Drama Gossamers because I'm telling you, the D Plus are amazing. So let me show you. So here is our Drama Gossamer. If you don't even know what our drama style is, it is a volume lash. So it is gonna have more fibers than a natural core gossamer would. So it's a drama, or it's a volume lash, and it does have a nice thick fiber, so it gives this beautiful, bold, mascara-like look. So if you have tried our bold gossamers in the past, but you like to stack them, or you're like, I want a little bit more volume, then we would have always been like, try the drama next. Uh-uh, try the D plus now. Because the D plus are gonna have a thin, thin spine, and look, I have some of these overlapped. I had a hard time overlapping just the Drama Gossamers. The D Plus, I can overlap. Look at this. And see how they are literally almost like seamless melting into one. It almost kind of turned into its own lash. Look at that. You can see over here they're not overlapped, but once I get towards the end, I had to overlap to be able to fit all the sizes, but oh, so good. Hi, Jeannie. Welcome, welcome. If you guys are watching over on Facebook or YouTube, come join us on the website because we're going to be popping over here. This is where I can see all your comments. We do have Danny here who's going to help answer questions, so let's get right into it. So let me show you real quick before we hop on the D Plus bandwagon. Let me just show you if you are new and you're coming across Lashify, let me show you quickly how I recommend getting started. So Lashify is this do-it-yourself under lash um, extension system. Look at this from the top. This is what we call lash cleavage. They literally look like they are growing out of my eyes. So you can do this at home by yourself with the purchase of either our classic control kit or our LED control kit. I'm gonna real quick show you what comes in our LED control kit. So let me link it at the bottom for you guys. Here it is, you can click it right here. The LED control kit is a one-time purchase, gives you everything you need to get started. Inside you get your charger, you get your wandoms, you get your control kit. In the control kit you are going to get a double-sided whisper light. So you get two bonds. We're gonna use this bond today. Then you're gonna get to choose either our classic fuse control wand or our petite fuse control wand. The difference between the two, the classic has a nice tight um, curve, we'll say. It's great for deep set eyes, protruding eyes. Uh, the petite has 10% reduced curve, so the curve's gonna be a little less. So it's great for a monolid or a flatter eye or an, a more elongated eye, okay? And so you're gonna choose your, your um, fuse control wand. Then you are going to get glass. This is gonna be your sealer and it's gonna make your lashes water resistant, remove any excess tackiness. Then you're gonna choose four gossamers, any length, any style, any color. And then, boom, you have your LED light, dimmable light, super, the charge lasts forever. I'm about to go on a little vacay. Charged her up, I'm pumped. I'm gonna put all of this in my bag and I'm gonna be good to go. Underneath everything you also get, whoop, I just hit my camera. You get some storage, so you're gonna hold eight more gossamers under here. So remember, you get to choose four. So you can put two in your control kit, two in here, and you still have room for six more. So you're gonna get all the lengths of the Ds. There you go. <laughs> okay, um, I received the Luxbox. If I need to order bond, is there a discount to order in a Luxbox or individually? Is it best to purchase bond separately? Um, hold on, I have to think that through. I, I just got on, what is the drop? Julie, we are dropping the D plus, the Drama Plus Gossamer 
here. Let me go back in and tag it now that we've already talked about how to get started. All right, let's do this. So if you guys are just joining, we dropped our Drama Plus, our D Plus Gossamer Lash today. You can shop it right on our website. It is part of our volume collection. So I am wearing the D Plus here. And what makes it so special is that thin, 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 thin magical spine, similar to our Plus collection, right? So I have on a D10, two D12s, a D14, a D16, and a D18. So they are available in the lengths of 10 through 18. So I have applied all the lengths for you to see. So let's do this on the other side. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna start, I do wanna prep my lash, so I am gonna take our pre-cleanse. This is our Japanese cleansing, um, Japanese cleansing water. Oh look, and here's my poll. Are you buying the D Plus? Let's see, is it up? Okay, so we're coming in with our pre-cleanse. This is our Japanese cleansing water. What this does is removes any oil. So while you wear our lashes, you wanna avoid any oils touching your natural or touching your lashes because that's going to break apart the bond. So if you're looking for longer wear than just a day or two, you want to make sure. Woohoo! D plus. Yes, Roshan, I love that. Uh, you want to make sure you're avoiding oil. So I'm going to come in just with a clean disposable spoolie and I'm just going to brush the pre cleanse through my natural lash. Okay, so I'm brushing it through my natural lash, removing any oil, any makeup. You can do this with a cotton round spoolie, Q-tip, paper towel, whatever you want. Uh, with the purchase of any control kit, you do get a sample of our pre-cleanse, which is our prep step, as well as our melt away, which is our removal. So I'm just coming in, brushing some pre-cleanse through the lash, and then I'm gonna let them dry. So the blow tool is a really great add-on. It does not come with the control kit, but it does speed up drying times. Is the dual side the same as charcoal flex? So on me, the dual side does not have charcoal flex. So on our whisper light, you're gonna have a clear side and a black side. These are both Whisper Light. Bondage comes in a tube. That's not it. Comes in a tube just like this. One side. Oh my God, look at all the gossamer stuck on here. Um, so Bondage comes in a single tube. We do have something in the works though, I will say. But for now, in your control kit, these are both Whisper Lights, okay? So what Bondage is, it's a stronger bond. We don't recommend starting out with Bondage. We want you to get used to um, the consistency of our bond. We want you to understand how much bond to use, the drying times. If we thought you could start out with Bondage, we would put Bondage right in the control kit for you. Okay, so we're gonna come in and make sure these are all nice and dry. Hello, happy launch day, happy laugh day. I love that. Okay, so look at, I will say too, these are all of my natural lashes. I have been wearing Lash Five. I'm coming up, I'm coming on hot, coming in up I think next week on my five year lash anniversary. These are all my natural lashes. So one of the big questions we get is, does Lashify damage the natural lash? The answer is no. All of our bonds, including that bondage I was just talking about, are flexible. So while you wear the lash, they move freely with your natural lashes. They're not gonna isolate, they're not gonna cause any damage, okay? We have lash techs that love Lashify and we love them. And they 100% agree. So, um, the bond, would, it's flexible because as it hits the air, it doesn't harden or cure. Typical lash extension bond hits the air and it hardens, okay? So we're gonna come in and I'm going to start with a thin coat of our Black Whisper Light. And I'm gonna do our lockdown method. So this is gonna be, give, this is gonna give you like five to seven days wear, okay? So we're gonna come in and it is going to be three layers of bond. If we wanted to do one day wear, we would do one layer of black, apply our lashes and call it a day. So what we're doing when we're layering is we're creating a thicker and thicker cushion for our lashes and our natural lashes to sit inside. The bonds can be layered, which is another thing that makes them really revolutionary. So we're gonna come in with the black micro mascara wand. We're gonna do a thin light coat through the natural lash. Okay, so I wanna come in and just gently apply. You don't wanna come in and press it really hard and start getting your lashes clumping together. The key to layering the bonds is thin light coats and letting each layer get really tacky. Just like if you like paint the walls, paint your nails, whatever. My last version is coming up too, four years for me. Oh no, why is the name my question? That is something that our developers are working on, but you can tell us your name. Okay, so we're coming in and brushing. Sometimes I'll even use just the tip of the wand just to brush it right through the natural lash. So see how I have minimal clumping? That's what you want, okay? So the bonds are also really special because they are free of any harsh chemicals. So they're not gonna irritate your eye. The system was literally made for the most sensitive eye. I'm gonna push some air on here to get it tacky. 
Um, and it actually has biotin and labandula in it. So nutrients for your natural lash. A lot of times people say that their natural lashes are longer, healthier, more beautiful because of Lashify. Okay, so we're gonna come in. I am gonna use my precision lash comb real quick. Let's see. Valerie, welcome Valerie. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna take the tip of my precision lash comb and I'm just going to gently slide through and see how we just kind of fix that little clump right there. I'm gonna come in right here and I like to remove any clumping because look at from behind, I like this seamless look of these D pluses. I don't want any clumping back there. I want it to look like clean, separated lashes. That's kind of the look of the Ds and like our Gs is it's like these bold fibers that are a little bit thicker and nice and separated. There's no clumping, none of that that you have to worry about. Look at these D pluses are so good. Okay, so let's do this. Next layer is going to be our black whisper light again. If you're not sure if your bond's tacky, take the back of your nail, push it right on there. See how I can start to see my lashes sticking a little bit? That's how I know I'm ready for round two, and that's gonna be the Black Whisper Light again, this time just at the base. So you can come in, oh, I just bent my wand a little. You can come in, and I can come in and just press into the base here, like so, or I can come in and just press using the tip of the wand. But notice how I'm not brushing up. I'm literally just starting to build that cushion of bond that we were talking about right at the base. So I'm just pressing into the base of my lashes. Then again, we're coming in using that blow tool, pushing that air on there. Oh, I got a little bond on my bottom lash, there we go. Pushing some air right onto there. And then for our third step, we're gonna take the Clear Whisper Light. So the Clear Whisper Light goes on white, it has a precision tip. Goes on white, once it's tacky, dries clear, okay? So we're gonna come in and what we're doing for our third and final step of our lockdown method is we're gonna create a guideline using this clear. So I'm gonna come in and I am going to press this onto my lashes. See how it just started to create a line here of white? We wanna create a line of white one to two millimeters away from my waterline. This is gonna be our guideline of where we place the spine of the lashes. Boom, so see how I have, it's a little messy, I did a lot so you could see, but see how I have this white guideline here? That's where we're gonna place the spine. So if we look at the eye that I've already done, over here, nothing's on my waterline. See how I can take my wand and I can physically fit my wand in between the spine and my waterline? That's how you know we've applied the lashes in the right spot. You don't want them on your waterline because even with our plus collection, they're super light, super delicate, Oh no, the screen is black. Can you guys see me? Um, Maddie, maybe try getting out and coming back in if you can even hear me. Um, so you don't want them touching the waterline because your wet line is going to be constantly wet, right? So you don't want the bond exposed to the, exposed to the constant moisture of your wet line, then you might get lifting, okay? And then uh, if it's touching your wet line or your water line, you're gonna feel them. All of our gossamers are made of Korean PBT silk. You can take our thickest, fullest fibered lash and stack it on top of itself and you should never feel it, okay? So they are weightless. If you feel it, it just means you're too close to your waterline and you're gonna move it up. And because the fun's bond is flexible, you can do that. Is there a secret to using the White Whisper Light? I can never get it to come out. Jeannie, come in here and come in and swirl it around and get, uh, you might just have some left over at the bottom. Get it right in there. That is the key. If you uh, are applying it and it's not as much as I had on there, that's fine. With these bonds, I will say, so you might think like it doesn't seem like there's a lot on there, but it's on there. Same with the black. I always say, I don't mind coming in with my second layer and using just the tip because look how much bond is on just the tip. Okay, there's more bond on there than you think. And remember, we wanna slowly layer. We don't wanna come in and think that we can glob it all on there and call it a day. Okay, so see how this has gone clear. Now it is time to apply our Drama Plus Gossamers. I have applied them in all lengths on this eye, so we're gonna do that right over here. So I'm gonna start in my inner corner with a D Plus 10. So with any of our Gossamers, especially any of our Plus Collection lashes, we recommend coming in with your fingers and sliding the lash out, okay? If you come in with the wand, especially with our Plus Collection, because the spine is so thin and delicate, you end up sometimes, like luckily I was able to just pull this out, but this is super precise. You can come in and start accidentally plucking out fibers and then you're gonna mess up your D plus, you're gonna be sad. So come in, use your fingers. I'm gonna start in the inner corner of my eye on my non-dominant side. My trick, if you know, I love to rest the wand onto the bridge of my nose. 
If you are new, we do recommend looking down into a mirror. I'm gonna try to look up so you can see a little bit more of the application, but I'm gonna rest this and then I'm going to aim to put the spine right onto where we put that clear. And then I'm just gonna fuse it down because I like where it is. Hi Jay, welcome. Okay, so do I like where it is? I do like where it is. So there's our D plus 10. Now I'm gonna come in with two D plus 12s. I'm gonna slide them right out. And I'm not gonna overlap until I get a little bit further um, on my eye so that we could fit all of these lengths on here for you guys. So we're gonna come in now with a D plus 12. I'm just going side by side, but do you see, are you seeing how they're just grabbing onto the natural lash? They are attracted to one another. Okay, so we have a 10, a 12. I'm, guys, look at, it's so hard to tell here. Let me see. The spine of this is so thin. And once it's on here, it literally is kind of like melting into my natural lashes. So we're gonna come in now with a D plus 12 again. I am gonna fuse these down on here as I go. So good, so fun. All right, now we're gonna pull out a D plus 14. Again, sliding it out using my fingers. My tip for applying the D pluses, and I'll show you this with the 14, I'm gonna put a little clear on the spine because I am gonna start to overlap so I can fit three more. But here's my key, is because it has a good, a pretty strong curl for our gossamers, I'm gonna come in and if I'm looking down into a mirror, I'm gonna try to turn a little bit so you can see, but what I like to do is I let the spine hit first and then see how I'm kind of angling it back. And in my, the reason I do that is because I like the spine to hit and then I pull it back a little bit so that they, uh, um, stick to, I might move that one, so that they stick to the natural lashes behind it. No, we're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it. Do I wanna move it over? I don't know if I need to overlap that one. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. But if I wanted to move it, I could. All right, thank you, Jeannie. All right, we're gonna come in now with a D plus 16. We have been doing D plus looks. If you guys are like, I don't know, that look is a lot, because this is a big, long wing, right? But we've been doing D plus looks on all of our lives these past week. Uh, go check out some of our replays. We've been stacking with B's and C's and G's. Um, and we did. I did a shorter D plus map yesterday. I'm telling you, this is like a game changer. Because here's the thing, because I'm telling you, I would wear this look with our drama gossamers and I could get it to wear for a week, yes, but on day three, I would wake up, I'd have some lifting because the spines were just a little bit thicker. So I would have some lifting, I'd have to come in and do some touch-ups. The D+, plus, longer lasting, less work. That is a literally like the our, that is the theme of the D+. Plus. Get the look you want for less. All right, let's come in with our last lash, the D plus 18. We're gonna slide it out again using the fingers. And I am gonna overlap a bit. So I can either put it on the spine or I can just come in and go boop, and put a little dot here. I just like to get a little bond there just to ensure no lifting, right? Because I need something to hold that down. So there's a little clear whisper light. Now we're gonna come in Let's get it a little tacky and we're going to put this D plus 18 and look what I'm going to do. I'm going to come in and I'm going to angle it up a little bit. Okay, see how I have it angled? Oh, this eye looks better. We might have to adjust. Whew, guys. Okay, see how I angled it up and I've left out like one or two of my natural lashes. By leaving out one or two of my natural lashes, it helps create this nice lift. Leaving out a few inner and outer corner lashes is gonna help with extending longevity as well. Your inner and outer corner lashes are naturally gonna be a little bit shorter, a little bit more sparse, so they're not gonna hold as well. I think I need to switch things up over here and kind of like angle it out a little bit more. What do we think? Because this one's giving me much more wing. Let's fuse it down and then I'll show you how I would move things over here. So we're gonna come in, we're gonna push some air onto here. I just wanna make sure everything's tacky before we come in and fuse, but look at these are so good. D plus the curl on these. Oh my, right Jeannie? Tell me about it. From the top, we haven't even fused down, but I'm so excited to check it out. Look at that. So pretty. All right, let's fuse down. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna fuse right down onto the spine. I'm gonna hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. And it, literally the spines just melted like into each other. It is 
magic. I don't know how she does it, but she does it. Okay, oh God, these look so good. <sighs> if you have not tried the D's, today is the day. Let me add the product down here. I didn't realize it wasn't down here. All right, let's see, D plus. Come on. I don't know why I want it switch for me. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Boom, I'm gonna show you how I would switch over onto this side. I wanna move. So see how this one, I have it like a little bit longer out. I do have two different eye shapes. Most people do, unless you're like a beautiful supermodel, then I'm really jealous. But we, I wanna extend and elongate this eye a little bit more, so I'm gonna move this out a little bit. This is the original, this is the classic fuse control wand that I'm using right here. It is from the Aura Collection, and I'm really sorry, I don't know which specific color it is. I have to look in a second, but I'm going to move. I'm gonna move this one. It is overlapped, so I'm going to risk moving the one next door, but let's see. See how I'm coming from the underside? Oh, we're moving two, but look. Not a single one of my natural lashes has come off, right? So with the pluses, you wanna be really gentle when you are moving things around, but let's set that one down. Let's put this 16 back on here. We're gonna move things out so that we can get more of that elongated eye because hello, I am here for this map. So we're gonna come in with the 16. And look, notice too, I don't need to add any more bond. 16 and then we want this 18 a little further out. Mm, a little further in, hold on. Let's put a little bond on here. Look at this, so good. All right, coming in and we're gonna overlap a little bit and angle up. So let's see if we can do it this way for you guys to see. Of course, Jeannie, that's why we do these lives so we can show you guys all of our tips and tricks. Boom, okay, look at that, so much better. <gasps> okay, but we still need to fuse that down. If you're moving things around, come in, make sure, look at the curl. The curl from the side is so beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna come in and we're gonna fuse this down. So pretty. All right, let's check out our lash cleavage. So we have on a D10, two D12s, a D14, a D16, a D18. We did, we did the D thing, get it? Look at that, so pretty from the underside. I'm telling you, the spine on these is amazing because the spine is so, let's zoom, oh, there we go. Because the spine is so thin, I know that I can wear these longer. I'm not gonna have to come in on day three, day four and do touch-ups because they are literally gripping onto my natural lash. They are amazing. Let me see if I can tag this down here one more time. I don't know why that's not working for me. Okay, so this is it. This is our look, our Ds. I would seal this with just some glass. Uh, the glass is gonna make them a little water resistant. Glass again, totally optional, but does come in the control kit. I like to just run it along the spine. What size do you suggest to tone down drama just a notch? Okay, so Julie, if you like this map, you don't have to go so long. Check out, I did a live yesterday or two days ago where it was 10, 12, 14, and it's just a shorter version of this map. So if you guys like a map, any map that we have, but you feel like you can't wear an 18, then you're just gonna bump down. So you can do 10, you can do two 10s, two 12s, two 14s. You could do 10s and 12s all the way across. Really, really I'm telling you, with Lash Fry, there are no rules. Of course, you're welcome. There are no rules. You just wanna make sure you're not applying too much bond and you're not putting it on your waterline, okay? So this is the Drama Plus Gossamer. I'm gonna grab one of these big ones. It is a plus because the spine on this is so paper thin, super delicate. You wanna make sure that you are removing using your fingers from the cartridge. Look at it. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm obsessed. It is so good, so amazing. Um, longer wear, grips right on. I'm telling you, they literally just melt into each other. So beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture of this look. I will post it over onto my Instagram, at lashfy.com. If you guys haven't shot the D+, shop it now before they are gone because I am telling you, it's gonna be your new favorite volume lash. For sure, hands down, I can already call it. If you already have the D+, go ahead, or if you're getting it, when you get it, post in our Lashify Life group because we wanna make sure 
that we are seeing all of your looks there. So go join us in Lash by Life. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Jerry will be live on our Instagram later today, so check that out. We hope you guys enjoy. If you are not signed up for our SMS or our email notifications, you'll definitely wanna go sign up there because you do not wanna miss another drop or launch and it is the place to be, right? All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions about our D Plus Lash, go into our Lash by Life Facebook group. We have our educators in there and we are ready to help answer all questions and help you spend your monies. 